Hello guys, today I want to raise a discussion around Eloquent Collections and Laravel Collections and is it actually better and shorter to use the collections instead of for each loops and temporary variables. And this is based on my tweet, you can see it on the screen, I have tweeted that a few weeks ago uh, and it raised quite a few of comments and discussions on Twitter and now let's recap. For those of you who don't know, I will show you a few examples, a few real examples from articles how to use the collections and why it is better. And then I will raise a question, is it really better? And my own personal opinion. So this video will be an opinion, not the thing that you should take as a strict advice. So let's go, the tweet. I saw a post in Laracast forum. So from this for each statement, Bobby Bauman suggests to use collections. And it looks much shorter, so instead of doing for each on the workouts, which is a collection already actually, so you do workouts, then for each, then each of that, then if statement else, and this can be shortened with collection methods. Plug, flatten, group by, and then map. And this is my message here. This is ugly, but readable, in my opinion, for the older generation of PHP developers not familiar with Laravel or collections or anything like that. This is just plain old for each statements and variables. This is sexy and Laravel way, but for people who don't work with collections, that would raise a lot of questions. But let's recap and let's see more examples. There's a great article by Christoph Rumpel written back in 2016, how I refactor to collections. And, and after all his thoughts, at the bottom of the article, there is a cheat sheet with three most typical collection functions that are used. First is filter. So for example, you would use for each users and for some condition, filter out someone who doesn't belong there. Filter with score something. So instead of doing for each with the same array, you do filter. So that's one case. Second case is each, whenever you want to perform some action on the array, on the collection. So you would do for each users, user send invite. The syntax with collections is user each. And then third is map. So whenever you need to perform some action and collect some new data set, so new array on some condition, and there's a typo here, user phone numbers, of course. So you want to populate phone numbers of the users. Instead of doing for each, you can do map. And the most beautiful thing about collections is that you can chain the methods, which you cannot do in for each loops. So you can do stuff like that in one statement, filter out the users by score, then for each of them send the invite, and then at the end of it, filter phone numbers and assign that to the array. It looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? And third example I wanted to show you is article on Laravel News, review of a book refactoring to collections, which is by Adam Wathen, and it was released back in 2016. So the whole idea of refactoring to collections is kind of four year old, it's nothing new, but still quite a lot of people didn't adapt that mindset, that theory of refactoring to collections. And at the end of this article, the author raises the hope that it would be even shorter. So two things here. First is arrow functions. So instead of doing closure function like this one, you would do this and it is accepted in PHP 7.4 a separate article by Brand from Stitcher, arrow functions in PHP 7.4, so you can already do that. So callback functions in the collections get even shorter. And there's one more new thing in Laravel. You can use so-called higher order messaging for collections. So instead of doing two callback functions, you can do just totally one liner. So see how much magic can be done with that collection. So you can do one liners, you can do chaining of functions with arrays, you can turn array into a collection and then do all of that. And that is pretty awesome. But my message here and what I want to raise discussion about, is it actually better? Because for people who don't work with the collections and don't know all those methods and magic or things like this one, back to my original tweet. So you have to understand what is plug, what is flatten, how does map with keys work? What are the parameters? How should you return them? And it's pretty easy to make a mistake even, I think. So I'm thinking about like teamwork and within the team, maybe there is a person that doesn't work really with collections that deep, or maybe a developer isn't really a Laravel developer, more like PHP developer, and they work more with for each on variables. So I think it's an open question. 
whether it's worth to go down that route of magic off collections it looks really sexy and short and i will repeat the word magic because it does look to me like magic so a question to you do you use collections like this way with chaining and all of that and do you enjoy that or is it better for you to do for each loops with variables and more readable because this thing it's readable step by step so for each of the record you do if you do else and it's a longer code but in my opinion it's more readable for any developer even outside of php actually this one is readable only for those people who work with the collection so let me know what you think i will link all the resources i've mentioned in the description of the video so you can check that out and read all of the examples manually launch them locally on your server or something like that and let's discuss in the comments and see you guys in other videos.